Floats are key when you're dealing with decimal numbers or getting into some serious scientific calculations. So let's hop into our Elixir shell and check out floats in action. Open up your terminal with command space, terminal, and then just type in IEX to start the Elixir shell. Now floats are those numbers that come with decimal points or appear in scientific notation. So just 5.67, that is a float or 3.0 E8, that is also a float. These are classic examples of floats, and floats can be re represented in a couple of ways. Like we just saw, 5.67 is a regular decimal, and then 5.0 E8 is scientific notation. Now, Elixir floats have 64-bit double precision. Elixir sticks to the IEEE 754 standard for its floats. So if you divide two integers like 10 divided by three, you'll end up with a float. All your standard ar arithmetic operators play nice with floats. So you can try out uh, addition. So 5.5 5 plus 2.3, it helps to actually hit plus. So 5.5 5 plus 2.3, um, you can do 4.5 minus 1.1. You can do 3.2 times 1.5. Now comparing floats is pretty straightforward. You can use the greater than and less than operators. Now you want to be careful with the equality operator. For instance, if we did something like 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.3, Looking at this, we would say, well, yeah, 0.2 plus 0.1 equals 0.3. But it might not yield the result that you would expect. So we got a false here. And this is because of precision quirks. Floats can be tricky with their rounding errors. So if we just try adding 0.1 plus 0.2, you'll notice that it has a really like tons of zeros and a lagging four. So you're probably spotting that rounding error. And this is because of the way binary systems approximate, approximate decimals. So yeah, this is something to be aware of. And we can actually uh, like say you want to prevent this from happening. We could say uh, float dot round. And then we can say... Um, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 comma and then we can say we want it to round to the nearest the tenth spot and there you go so now it doesn't have that rounding error but it does still exist so if if you're ever doing anything with currency or anything you don't want to use floats and now we can also uh convert floats to strings just like integers we can do float dot two underscore string and we can say 0 0.3 and now we have a string keep in mind floats need more memory and can affect performance differently compared to integers we will discuss how to do some like benchmark testing later on in this course but floats are super useful in areas like simulations or graphics when you need precision but like i mentioned before if especially in like financial calculations you want to consider other options you want to stick with integers um, like dealing in cents or check out other elixir libraries that offer exact decimal calculations and that's our quick overview of floats in elixir uh, we've seen how versatile they are, um, but also they come with their own set of quirks. So play around with the Elixir shell a little bit, and I will see you in the next video.